and we're live. Hey everybody, welcome into the At Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. Um, let's make sure everyone can hear me and see me before I start talking. If you can see me, or you can and hear me, not or, let me know over here in the comments. Um, whatever we did the other night to, um, enable me to have a guest on the channel screwed up all the settings on my third-party software and I don't know how to set it up I don't know how to work it so I hope you guys can see me and hear me I had to uh, kind of make it up as I went along and Keith's not home and I don't know what to do um, can y'all see me and hear me I'm not seeing anything in the chat so I can see that my video is live on YouTube, though. Okay, good. At least one person can see me. I'm, like, really concerned. Um, the third-party software that we, we use, it's... I guess it's not convoluted or complicated if you're someone like Keith. Um, but him and Casey had set it up for me. And I never touched the settings after that. And I just use it. But we had to play around the other night because of the whole YouTube taking away Hangouts and... I went to go live and my camera wouldn't work and I'm just like, well, I'll just play with stuff until it kind of works. I mean, you guys can see there's like a black box over here. I don't know. But at least you can see me and hear me. So welcome in, everybody. If it's not one thing, it's another amateur hour here at the Hippo Hut every day. Uh, Holly's here. Swimmer I Swimmerization. Lindsay. Lucille, hello, Jameson's Closet's here, uh, Green Thrifty Life, thanks for stopping in, Cherry Picker's here, um, Rhonda and Amelia are here, and Bamboo Spine Gal, thank you so much you guys for giving me the feedback that you can see me and hear me. Um, before we get into the haul, I'm going to share something with you guys that I'm really super excited about. You guys know that I love my bullet journaling. And I love stationery. And I won a $100 gift card on eBay from Cellhound at eBay Open. And one of the things I purchased was a new planner. And I wanted to share it with you guys. I did put an affiliate link down below for the planner. And for the stickers that I purchased separately. But I'm going to show you if you guys were interested. If you haven't started a bullet journal yet. If you haven't started a planner yet. Now's the time to do it. So the thing about this one is it's a 24 month planner. So it goes from January of 2019 through December of 2020. Why did I get one that has eight months in it I can't use? Because it was $11. Um, I was actually going to purchase one. What I was looking for was one that started in August. Now, 2019, and went through the end of next year. Those like 18 month planners or whatever they are. Um, 16 maybe. I'm not good at math. Anyway, I was looking at the ones that started in August and went through next year. And they were like, the ones that were really nice like this, that came with a lot of stuff and goodies, were like 30 and 40 bucks. And then this one was like 10. Um, and so it had a couple of months gone by I can't use, but I could still use the pieces of paper for other things. Like this is part of January. Can you see that? I can still use that. I can still make a to-do list and goals on that paper. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is the way the pages go in, but I'll get used to it. Um, but it has, it came with stickers. I'm trying to show y'all. It came with stickers and pockets. I'll show you from this side. It came with pockets. Two pages of pockets, four total pockets. It came with stickers. Um, here they are. It came with a bunch of these. And one of my pages just fell out. See, I have to get used to that. It came with two bookmarks. One says today, one says to do. It came with these little magnet things. It came with um, matching rolls of tape. I don't know what you do with these, but there's tape. It came with three gel pens. They're like glittery. This is my bag of bullet journal pens, guys. Not embarrassed at all about my pen and stationary problem. Um, came with three pens. And then it came with these little pads. 
So I'm really excited about these. It came with two little pads too. And I can use these in the kitchen for a grocery list or I can use it at my desk to keep track of stuff. So, um, no, it's not the Happy Planner. It's, um, I forget what it's called. It's like a generic one. It's called Creative. I don't know. The link to it is um, in the description box. It is an affiliate link. So if you do go buy it, I will get a couple pennies in commission. But I, I would absolutely recommend it. If you guys don't have a planner or a bullet journal and you're getting ready to start one, um, yeah, it you know started in January of this year and you'll have a couple of months you can't use. But it's still cheaper than buying one that's current through next year. And those extra pages and those months you will eventually use. You can use the months that they give you. Traditionally, they have like the calendar and then they have by week. So you can use that as like a planner, which is what I plan on doing. Ha ha, pun intended, plan on doing. And then it came with tons of blank notebook papers at the front. So you would use that part as a traditional bullet journal and you would have your index um, just like you would a normal bullet journal. So I figure if I run out of the notebook pieces of paper in the front, you can order refills, but I'll just start writing on the uh, old calendar pages that aren't going to be used. But I already started some of it. Focus, focus. That's my index. So I was really excited about it. I mean, it came with three pens. I think this is six rolls of tape, 24 months, note paper, stickers, pockets, two extra pads, and it was like 10 bucks. Can you guys tell how excited I am? Uh, Danny, thank you so much for the super chat, $4.99, Hippo Dance. Um, I don't know if it came, I wasn't paying attention. I'm so wrapped up in this planner. I have a stationary problem. Um, I stayed up till 2 in the morning putting it together and working on it last night, and I haven't even started on the stickers. Um, the tape is for decoration. Uh, yeah, get organized now. Uh, yeah, it's a lot like the Happy Planners, but it's like a Gennaro brand. But I mean, the package it came in, you guys can't see how my hands, it was big. It was a big old plastic package. Okay, so one more thing real quick. Um, I did get these for, I think they were also 10 or 11 bucks. There are, this is the Happy Planner brand. Can you see it? It won't focus. There it goes. This is from the Happy Planner brand. There's 1,768 stickers in here. All different kinds. You've got holidays and happy things and appointments. Um, this is the Planner Basics. The Happy Planner has tons of different themes of sticker books, but this one had like all the basics, everything you're ever going to need. So I bought this on the side and I'm really super excited. Like I said, I stayed up till 2 in the morning putting it together and color coding everything with my colored pens. And tonight I'm probably gonna start putting in stickers and tape. I just won't sleep because I'm so excited about my new planner. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys don't have one and you wanted to get started, that is a very inexpensive uh, way to get started. It'll give you a full year and a half and um, tons of extra goodies. I mean, who doesn't need pens and notepads, right? So the link to both the stickers and the planner are down below and again if you do use them we will get a small commission so who has popped in while i was wrapped up in my addiction problem with the stationery um yeah and you can always buy plain notebooks or plain hardbound journals or softbound journals i tell you guys that all the time you could literally go to walmart and buy a 10 cent back to school notebook and do a bullet journal in it because it's just a matter of writing down whatever you want, however you want to do it in a bullet journal and having an index page. They're so easy to set up. Um, Deb and Mel are here. Welcome in. Uh, Rhonda and Amelia are going to list plush while they watch plush. <laughs> Danny, hi, my name is Star. You have no idea. Um, I have Rubbermaid bins full of journals and pens and paper. It is a problem, but it's not because it's fun and I'm organized. Um, yeah, they do have entire YouTube channels dedicated to bullet journaling and stuff like that. So, all right, we're going to jump into the haul. We only went to one Goodwill and 
Keith didn't find very much. I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'll be live tomorrow with some of the clothes that we purchased. Today is just shoes and plush. But he found a handful of bread and butter shirts. But we still have that box that I showed you guys before we went to open. Full of stuff for him to work on. He still has tons of ties. Um, and I found more stuff. And the problem is that we're starting to get a lot of death piles. But we do kind of do that on purpose. I know I've mentioned that before. We try to build up an excess of death piles or inventory before the winter. Because here, well, number one, the yard sales go away. A lot of the estate sales dry up in the winter as well. And the church sales are gone. And then um, more often than not, we get stuck in the house due to snow, inclement weather, icy roads. So we do purposefully like over source and just really stock up our death piles in August, September, going into October. And um, then in the winter when we can get out, we're just really cherry picky and we source less. But if we get stuck in the house, we still have stuff to list. You know what I mean? But I have so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't know if you guys know. Longtime viewers probably already know this. But I look for and source and list and photograph certain things. And Keith has certain things. And we don't intermix. Like I do the plush and the jeans and the women's tops. And he does ties, men's shirts, electronics, video games, most of the hard goods. Um, and that's just how it is. It's our system. And I have so much stuff. And it's like, I think he's going to have to start helping me with some of the women's tops. Because he doesn't have as much as me. Like, I keep finding stuff and he's just not. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, David is here and probably Bill is with David. So, hi guys. Um, <laughs> you need to stay alive. You are getting married. Yeah, I want to go to the wedding. It's like less, it's about a month away, right? So, at least stay alive till I can come out there to your wedding. All right, I don't know why I'm trying to show you this. I'll just read it to you. We got 76 items, and we spent a total of $94.78. So that averages out to a buck 25 per item. And I'm going to show you the plush first. No, I'm not, because the shoes are on the chair. So we'll, um, there's a couple of plush in here. We'll just start grabbing. It's fine. I got all these plush for 50 cents a piece, you guys. They had their cart full this is the goodwill that's closest to us that does the 50 cent plush there's a cart in the front of the store it was full overflowing so i grabbed everything i wanted for 50 cents each um <laughs> you guys don't deb or am i talking to deb or mel or both of you girls um for those of you that don't know deb and mel are married and they're a, a reselling couple just like me and keith and david and bill um, I always like, who, which one am I talking, I'll just talk to you both. So, yeah, Deb and Mel live in California. They don't have an excuse. They have to time themselves out when they start to get too much. All right, so this minion here with his little elf hat and his little stockings, he was 50 cents. He's a pretty big minion. And, um, I feel like there's a minion movie coming out, but I might be crazy. I might be thinking of Angry Birds. But either way, he's a Christmas elf. So he's perfect to list now. Um, she says, Deb, well, if you see, if you see Mel, like you're not going to see your wife. <laughs> when you see Mel, tell her I said hi to her too. All right. I got a zoom, zoom, a little Minnie Mouse zoom, zoom. Isn't she cute? I love the zoom, zooms. I just think the zoom, zooms are cute. They're like little pill bugs. So, um, again, all the plush were 50 cents and there went Patrick, but um, this is, her name's Velvety. No, it's not. Her name's Ava. And she's 100% uh, Velvety. So this is a special tie that has a 100% Velvety. And she is super soft. Her name's Ava. And the reason I got her, you guys, I know Beanie Babies aren't that great. But the Beanie Boos can be. Um, sometimes I get Beanie Boos home and I'm disappointed they're going to go up for 10 bucks. But I've had Beanie Boos that have gone up to 20. There's a pink and black panda bear named Mandy. She goes for a lot. And then there's a couple of monkeys. I remember one's name's Coconut. Um, 
So if I find them for 50 cents, I pick them up and bring them home. And if I'm disappointed, I sell it for 10 bucks, whatever. But sometimes I'm pleasantly surprised with these Beanie Boos. And the glitter eyes make them more valuable. You can like add a couple bucks on them when they have glitter eyes. I have a pop up here blocking my chat. Hey, Junkin' Data Girls in the house and Pop Rocket. Welcome in. So y'all know who this is. This is Patrick. And I do real, really well with him. I like feel like whenever I put Patrick in the store, he sells faster than Spongebob. And the one time I had um, Plankton, he sold really fast. He was a talking plush that was broken. So I put him in kind of cheap. But he sold off so fast. It's like... Um, I say sometimes the non-main characters and the more obscure characters sometimes from um, Disney and other kids like Nickelodeon shows, they do well. They do better. I got some shoes. They've already been lysol So we put them all down in the foyer and I soaked them in Lysol and then I bagged them up so Keith could put them on the chair for me. Um... Jacqueline Smith. Now, all these shoes I got for 99 cents. So, you know, there's nothing too exciting. There's no, like, Doc Martens or any home runs in here. They're just kind of like run-of-the-mill bread and butter shoes. But the way I view shoes, number one, I'm still learning shoes. Um, and the way Keith and I learned clothing was if it was 99 cents, you risked it, you risked it, you bought it, brought it home, and you either discovered... It was really, really worth it, and it's a bolo. It's an okay bread and butter filler, or oops, that was a mistake, don't ever get that again. And that is really how we, we learned clothing. We just kept buying all the things for 99 cents. So I'm kind of doing the same thing with shoes. I do watch Tito, the Soul Advisor. Um, I do stalk a couple of posh closets, Megan Mawinney, Colleen, who was on my live show Tuesday. Um, she does a lot of shoes and so does Megan. Sydney's really good with shoes and I stalk them and kind of get an idea. So I'm learning by stalking, I guess, but also by buying. But anyway, these were all 99 cents. So even if they, um, turn out, yeah, you know, like I said, um, number one, I'm learning. Number two, worst case scenario with most shoes that I buy that maybe I shouldn't have, you can still get 18 to 20 for them plus shipping. People pay the shipping. So it's still, it's, you know, bread and butter, I guess. Squidward is my hero. Patrick is the hero of that show. I like the guy who voices Patrick. Off topic. He's a good actor. I liked him in the original Stand TV miniseries. I found Dansko in SAS yesterday. Ooh. All right, so these are just Jacqueline Smith high heels. Yellow was the color. I know I just flashed it to you. There it is. Yellow was the color this week. Um, they're just cute. They're really good shape. The bottoms don't look too bad. Um, like I said, they're all Lysol, and then I'll take a, um, I'll take the time to wipe them down and stuff before I photograph them. But with the right keywords, I mean, these will sell. So, um, again, if it's 99 cents, I'm gonna try it while I learn. Invader Zim, yes. Invader Zim is definitely a bolo. And the Gur is harder to find. Um, yeah. Naturalizer. Now, I've sold some of these before, this brand. So, these are just like nice closed-toed pumps, heels. Um, I'll put like career as a keyword and stuff. Um, these naturalizers, the ones I've had before, like 20 bucks maybe, but they pay the shipping. Um, and I'll cross post them all to Poshmark. <laughs> they want $10 for a Joss Hay Bank. Um, Ann Klein, again, just a risk that I decided to take because the shoe itself was cute. Nice and shiny. Sometimes I hit a lot um, at Goodwill, and sometimes I don't, as, to, as far as shoes. Um, most of the shoes don't really make it to 99 cents day. Typically when I'm in there on Sunday, I don't see a lot of shoes with the collar of the week. I just think they just don't make it um, until they're that cheap. 
but the other issue is the starting price. Can you see it? It's $5.99. So all their shoes start at $5.99. Most of them aren't worth that. So on the days where I do find a lot with the color of the week, I'm like, oh, I'll risk it. I'll just grab them all because shoes are good to have. I am absolutely glad. I'm not over it. I'm not. The only reason I'm touching these and not I'm okay with life is because they've been Lysol, but um, I still have germ issues with them and I still think they're grody, but they're good to have. They flip for good money. Um, they Some of them are long tail, but I mean, they're money. So I guess, you know, once I realize I like money more than I hate germs, I guess I like shoes. <laughs> Happy Thursday, Linda. Welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Thrift Chicka Gaten, welcome. Kathy, hey, glad you caught the live show. Um, I'm just holding this shoe here <laughs> while I'm reading the chat. Um, Danny's learning some new editing software. Liz Claiborne, flex. I try not to edit too much. Um, that's why I like live shows. Aren't these cute? These are like uh, mules. Look, I'm learning shoes. These are mules and their heels. Um, not a really great brand, but I just think these are cute. But uh, yeah, I like live shows because I can just roll with it. <laughs> if I make mistakes, um, whatever. And when I do pre-recorded, um, if I mess up or whatever, I just stop. And then start, so I'm just like slamming clips together and cutting off the beginning and the end. So I feel like I've heard of this brand before. I don't know, Jelly Pop? I might be thinking of Jelly Cat Plush, but I feel like I've heard of these before. But these are super cute ballet flats. Look at these. <laughs> Robert's watching his knees. He can't really pay attention. Um, I finished your video yesterday, Robert. For those of you that don't know, Robert also flips a lot of plush. He's in our Facebook group, and he just started his YouTube, and I had him put his first video in the group for everyone to see, because he knows a lot about plush. And um, I watched the first half, and then I forgot what happened. I got busy. So I watched the second half last night while I was putting my bullet journal together. It was a really good video, Robert. So, uh, Hey, Jamie. Welcome in. I'm glad you're here. Um... I've been trying to get into plush. Yeah, there's a huge learning curve with plush. I'm going to tell you in the beginning, we we got a lot of crap plush. Poopy plush. Um, I feel like Henry and Hannah are really far away today. I feel like they're way back there. Anyway, um, we, we bought, I mean, but it's the same with clothes and the same with shoes. It's the same with anything when there's a, like a learning curve. You're going to get some crap and some mistakes. Um, general rule of thumb though with plush, if it's like under a buck or you can buy a whole bunch of it for one good price for all of it, um, just take the risk and bring it home. Because if you go to like a church rummage sale and you're getting plush for a quarter or 50 cents, it's worth the risk. So, um, even the poop ones will sell. What I used to do, um, when we used to buy the big bags of them, I'd get all the good ones out and list them, but the poop ones I would put in lots and I would just say like carnival prize or teacher, like you can use really good keywords um, because there are teachers and there are folks who work in recreation, um, recreational therapy and nursing homes and like group homes for adults with disabilities, which used to be my job before this. Um, I've done recreational therapy and stuff. Um, we used to put on carnivals and we would go on eBay and look for lots of cheap plush to give away and teachers do that too. So I mean, if it's cheap enough, take the risk because it'll still sell. Especially if you can lot up like a ton of poopy plush together. Um, yeah, Robert's video was pretty great. <laughs> yeah, see, Robert loves poop too. Um, that doesn't sound right. But, but I mean, like if I get like a handful, like 10 little ones like that, they don't weigh anything. You lot them up, you can charge like three bucks a plush, charge them shipping, whatever. And with good keywords in your car and your title, like carnival prize, um, student prize, stuff like that, they'll get snatched up for sure. I noticed that a lot of those start selling in August. Anyway, back to the jelly pops. Has anybody ever heard of these? Because I feel like 
I've heard of them. Um, I don't know. They're cute. I risked 99 cents. So that's all the shoes. I have another great big bag of plush hair. These were all 50 cents as well. I got all my plush for 50 cents last weekend. Look at her. I can't even stand it. I might keep her. I might keep her. It's a Hello Kitty demon. I was going to say she's a bat, but no, she has little pleather horns and she has wings and she has tail. Isn't that the cutest little Hello Kitty you've ever seen? She doesn't even have any tags on her. No tags. Um, she has an earring. Oh my gosh, look, she has an earring. I'm going to keep her. I think she's so cute. All right, we have a My Little Pony. Uh, I know the one with the balloons. I just, it's um, escaping me what her name is. If anybody knows the one with the balloons. But this is a nice one. She's got just, you know, plush hair. Not real hair. But she's kind of bigger. <laughs> Holly. It's a demon kitty. Look. Speaking of characters that are not main characters in a show, we have this guy from Madagascar. I cannot remember his name, but I do remember him in the movie. Well, maybe I'll not keep the cat, and maybe I'll send it to a certain someone. Uh, a Beanie Boo. This one's a larger Beanie Boo. Has the glitter eyes. Pinkie Pie. Yes, thank you. I got a lot of her, and... Oh, boy, yeah, the brain farts are serious today, guys. They're for real. I get a, the most My Little Ponies I get are Pinkie Pie and um, the purple one. I don't know. It's just escaping me. Everything's escaping my mind today. I'm very tired because I stayed up till 2 in the morning playing with my bullet journal, and I got back up at 8 to work. Um, this is Romeo. He's cute. He's a beanie boo. With glitter eyes. Hellion Kitty. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to send it to Holly, to be honest with you guys. Because she is not only a super friend, but she's a great moderator. And she does a lot for me. This is the Thai Silk. This is Sh Charlotte. And she also has the glitter eyes. And she is a pretty kitty. Look at her. Pink and purple and blue. Um, actually, Holly's coming to the meetup, the reseller meetup that we're having here in Pittsburgh in the end of September. So I'll probably just give it to you then instead of mailing it to you, Holly. This is a little tiny wee build a bear. Um, it's cute. It's a kitty. It's another black kitty, and this one has on a dress with a tutu. And a little pumpkin shirt. This one's super cute too. I got there were a lot of beanie boo beanie boos in the cart. This is Nestor. He's an owl and he has glitter eyes and a glitter beak. He's cute. Um, this is just a reindeer, but it looked vintagey to me. I'm gonna see if it has a date on it. It does not have a date, but these tags like this are usually vintage. And it looks vintagey to me. It's a Russ. Um, it's even got its plastic tag. I'll have to get that 50 cent thing off of there. But you remember like in the 80s and 90s, like when I was a kid, Plush had these plastic tags. So I picked it up worth a try so this one's really cute you guys have probably all heard of the red hat society i've never heard of first first in main plush i don't know robert have you ever heard of first in main plush his name's scraggles but he's a red hat the red hat society ladies always wear purple and red together um every time i've ever found anything that's red hat society whether it's a plush a hat a shirt i had a purse once i think 
Um, they go pretty fast. You could ask for a pretty, pretty good amount of money for the Red Hat stuff. Rhonda and Amelia says, I have him, I love him, and I'm assuming you mean the owl, because I know you two like owls, right? Your thing is owls, like mine's hippos. Um, so this is just a baby toy. It's by Prestige Baby. It's got a teether on the end. Um, I did, I've steamed all these already too, and this I wiped down with alcohol, just in case, but... Um, I'll put Lovey in the title with this, even though it's not a traditional Lovey, like with the blanket. Um, something like this, I would put, uh, like my title would be Prestige Baby, Monkey, however many inches, Plush, Teether, Soother, Lovey, Little Star, Music, I'd probably put Musical Plush, sorry, however many inches, Musical Plush, and then Teether, Soother, Lovey, things like that. Okay, Amelia's the one that likes the owls and mom likes bears. I knew one of you girls liked owls. All right, I don't even know <laughs> what, the, like Old Navy has plush, but he was cute for 50 cents. He's a little alligator. Somebody out there likes alligators and collects them. That's the thing with the animals. There's always somebody that collects something. Um, mine's hippos, Amelia's owls, Holly likes black cats, bats, and old Looney Tunes stuff. Um, Robert does zombies. So there's, and I also like hamsters, but there's like always somebody that likes something. So when you find animals for cheap, especially the more obscure animals, like someone who collects owls is probably less likely to find an owl than someone who collects bears because bears are easier to find. So, so when you find animals like giraffes, um, any of the big cat family that's not like a tiger or a lion, like the more rare ones, owls, sorry, you said owls, um, unicorns are good. They're easy to find, but lots of people like unicorns. But like when you see just those animals that aren't as common, I would always grab those because somebody collects them and will buy yours because they're harder to find. Heather collects dinosaurs. Awesome. Um, Colleen's here. Hi, Colleen. Dinosaurs. I'll remember that, too. For some reason, that kind of stuff sticks with me. Like, I knew about the owls. I always remember that kind of stuff. My little unicorn here has glitter eyes. And writing on her tag, but that's okay. Her name's Wishful. And I'll just disclose that little bit of writing on her tag. Um, she is cute. She looks like a piece of cotton candy. I don't know. She's just so cute. But yeah, unicorns and dragons are good too. Awesome, Robert. That's so cool. Um, this is Specs. He's got the glitter eyes and then he's got his hang tag. And it's got writing on it, unfortunately, but that's okay. So the ones with like the hang tags and the glitter eyes, you can charge a couple bucks more. Um, squashmallows, squishmallows, squishmallows. How do you say marshmallow? Squishmallow. <laughs> so it's a little plush marshmallow. I think it's a fox. So soft, cuddle, yeah, it is really soft. It's super like, I mean, this is like the softest thing I've ever felt. I think it's a fox. What do you guys think? Is it a fox or a cat? And then we have a gallery Hershey duck. I have noticed, actually I noticed last night because I was listing, um, a Reese's little bear, not bear, monkey. I had a little Reese's monkey and I was looking through my own Hershey and Reese's plush to comp it instead of comping it the right way. Well, you guys know I don't comp anyway. But I noticed that a lot of the Hershey's and Reese's are made by gallery. Just an observation. I'm trying to tie a bow. I'll worry about it when I go to photograph her. She's got little hairs. 
I love stuffed animals with these little tufts of hair on the top. I just, for some reason, I think these little tufts of hair are very endearing and very cute. But yeah, I do well with like the Hershey and Reese's. And surprisingly, most of the Hershey and Reese's and things and plush, that was really bad sentence structure. A lot of the Hershey and Reese's plush that I sell go overseas along with like Disney. I think anything, and I think I've said this on the channel before, but I think a lot of things that are like stereotypical America um, do sell overseas because those people, you know, like to look for the American stuff. dragons <laughs> I pay attention that's funny Dennis has a squash mallow it is cute good to know Robert thanks and I think it is a fox and just like we said yesterday in our in the Facebook group someone had an animal that it was either like a Pomeranian dog or a Persian cat Robert I think you were the one that told her um, just list it whatever you think it is and the people of eBay will correct you if you're wrong mm -hmm. They have no problem with that. Why is my phone blowing up? I'm just going to make sure that it's not an emergency. I just got like 12 notifications in a row. Okay, that's fine. When it blows up like that, I'm like, oh no, what happened? Got another unicorn. This one has sequins in her ear. Ears. Look at her eyes. They have little stars in them. And she's one of my favorite cheapo brands, the Classic Toy Company. I do so well with these. Classic Toy Companies. She's cute. And then I have a pearl, another one of the velveties. They are really soft. Look at her face. Look at her cute face. I'm reading the uh, chat. Anyway, she is so cute, that little face. And I'm almost through here, guys. So, um, oh, I got some new with tags clothes to show you also. Um, but if you guys have questions, start putting them in the chat. I did, I did, I will show you guys some of the clothes today. Um, because they're in this bag. Everything that got steamed got put in this bag. So the new tag stuff's in here. This is, um, I've never heard of this. It looks like it's Japanese. You guys can see it? Is it focusing? It's a Hello Kitty. So, I mean, there are Japanese characters on this tag. I can pretty 1,000% assume that this is a Japanese plush. Because it has Japanese characters on the tag. And it's Hello Kitty. Look at, she's got a little flower instead of her, but her normal bow. Isn't she cute? Hey, Better Barbie, welcome in. Yeah, you can always catch the replay. You didn't miss the whole show. I've still got a couple more things to show. So this is a... It's like a pillow pet, I guess. It's a tummy stuffer. I've had a couple of these in the past. This one's a unicorn, so I grabbed it because unicorns are popular. But you can put stuff in the tummy. Or you can tuck it in. I don't know. Like, little kids like to put stuff in stuff, right? <laughs> and then I have this last plush to show you guys. It's DreamWorks, Trolls, and it doesn't have a name on it or anything, but it's one of the Trolls from DreamWorks. If anybody knows which one it is or his name. I haven't seen the Trolls movie. Um, my kids are pretty well grown, so I don't get to see too many kids' movies anymore. Um, unless it's something I really want to see, and I'll go out of my way to see it. Like, I went to see The Lion King and Aladdin, <laughs> but um, I did not see Trolls. Isn't he cute? His nose is hard, too. He's got little teeth. Alright, so that's the end of the plush. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys these new tags clothes, and then I'll answer any questions you guys have today for me. 
and then we'll um, all get back to work and then I'll be back tomorrow. I know I said, I think I said Tuesday that I would be back yesterday with this plush haul, but I had a bunch of stuff come up yesterday, um, not work related and everything's okay, but we just had a bunch of stuff going on um, that just ate up my morning and the half of my afternoon and before I knew it, I hadn't even listed and um, I just did a real quick, the what sold on, on Poshmark pre-recorded for you guys. Um, but here I am, and I will be back tomorrow for sure. I mean, unless something else unforeseen happens, I'll be back tomorrow with um, the not new with tags. And I'm not going to show you guys all the clothes. I just pulled out a couple of highlights um, to show you because I found some exciting jeans. All right, so these are new with tags, and they're yellow, so they were the 99 cents. Um. This brand is hit or miss anymore. Probably more miss than hit. Um, but I will pick off that yellow part and just put the MSRP at 50. And because I'm a nut job, I will start these at 35. Um, but they're cute. They're they got an elastic waist and they're like leggings, jeggings. They're not actual jeans. They're jeggings or leggings. I will use both terms in the title for keywords but the bottom is cuffed with this little striped material so I thought for 99 cents I'll get them um yeah classic toy company does come out of the claw machines um they're just really cheap like carnival prizes most of them are like um filled with really cheap material but for whatever reason people love them especially the dragons um, the unicorns, some of the bigger ones, like dog, like they have really big dogs and stuff will move pretty well. Rhythm and blues. I don't know, but I decided for 99 cents, all brand new with tags and the MSRP on this one is 58. So I'll probably start these around 40. <laughs> I won't even call. You guys know I just like take 30% off the MSRP and hope for the best and I usually get it. I don't know if you guys, those of you that watched the What Sold on Poshmark yesterday, I got like 20 something dollars for Abercrombie and Finch shorts. I price outrageously high and sometimes I luck out. Look at these pockets. They're nice. And these are a size 16 slim boot. They're really nice looking jeans. I mean, they have all their original tags down the leg and everything. Yeah, styrofoam. Usually when you squeeze them, you can hear it too. Um, the classic toy company. Robert says he hasn't listed in two weeks. I pretty much haven't been listing as much as I should be. There was the whole week of eBay open and then the week when I got back. Um, it pretty much took me the whole first week back to readjust. I had that, I had jet lag for days. It would not go away. Um, and I'm just out of sorts. And then we had a ton of stuff going on, um, with Keith's family. And then my court case for my workers, for my injury, my workers comp, just so many different things are happening that are just eating up my time. And I'm like, ugh, stop it. I just want to listen, make money. <laughs> like why do I have to be living why do I have to deal with life I just want to work right <laughs> um, but I did get really motivated last night and I listed a bunch of stuff but I also lost 20 photos of 20 items so I was really discouraged about that um, it was my fault my kid took he takes pictures we pay him to take pictures and he had taken um, photos of 20 pairs of jeans and shorts mixed and um I deleted them out of the drive, off the cloud, and then I deleted them off the computer. I don't even know what I did. So that was discouraging, but he was able to retrieve them, actually. So on his uh, phone, he was able to restore them and then put them back in the drive. So I was like, okay, that's good. But just things like that. It's just like, you know, sometimes, um, and I'm sharing this with you guys so you can see that, you know, even I have off times when I'm not productive or as productive as I should be. 
Um, but it's just like sometimes in life it's like when it rains it pours. It's just everything all at once. Like all of this stuff going on is just taking time out of my day every day. Like, you know, two hour meeting with my attorney, three hours in a hearing in a court. Um, and then um, just everything just taking up this time and then when I do sit down to work oh gosh I deleted all those photos oh gosh the shipping thing on the computer freaked out um, I don't know if any of you have seen that on the back end when you're listing on the desktop now um, the shipping options are really funky looking and then it's just like just so discouraging and you're just like I don't even want to do it anymore you know um, and I hadn't really been paying attention to Poshmark the way I should be since pre eBay open so I sat down yesterday and cross-posted and shared and immediately two sales came in, but then one of them canceled and I'm like, <laughs> so just so you guys know, I also have a lot going on, just like many of you do. I get stressed out. I get discouraged. I make mistakes and delete photos. I do all the same human things that all of you do. Um, and sometimes I'm not as productive as I you know promote you guys to be I teach you guys all these best practices and you know I'm always telling you to be productive and I don't even you know I'm human I have my off days off weeks too so it happens but um, we all all of us me Keith and all of you watching and everybody in the Facebook group we all need to get our little heinies in gear because before you know it fourth quarter is going to be here and um, you want to be ready for that so let me see who popped in while I was talking. Donatella! Hi! Thanks for coming. Um, I know you're not... A, that's so funny that you say that because every time I show a Donatello turtle in a plush haul, I say Donatella first. And then I have to correct myself because she's always on my mind. Um... Yeah, yay for my tech team. He was able to absolutely restore all the photos. He put them back in the drive. Um, and so I was able to list those items. But it was just like... I don't know. If he hadn't been here, I would have had to go dig them all out of wherever they ended up in our inventory system. Because we just pull numbers at random out of a bowl. You know, when we go to ship every day, we take their location off. And then when we're listing we just pull them out so they could be in any of our bins and I would have to retake all the photos I was just like you know sometimes it's just like if you think you have to redo work you've already done it's like oh my god I don't want to um I haven't been listing I have oh uh, yeah yeah I'm the same exact way whenever I move somewhere new which we haven't done in a long time thankfully I have to, I don't care how clean it, I don't care if I'm physically there watching their cleaning crew go through the place before I even move my stuff in. I like sanitize and clean everything. But you guys know I have issues with germs, so. Um, so I think the issue with the shipping is that they just took any and all options that you've ever used and assigned them to your business policies and then giving them a rando name, like a number, like number 13, number 32. But we always put two options on every listing, regardless. If it's free first class, then we have paid priority. If it's calculated, then we have express. If it's expensive as heck, we have parcel and then priority. Um, so we have two options on everything. So every possible combination of shipping we've ever had on every item is now in that drop down box. And it'll say, first class free and it and then something else and something else and they're all rando numbered um and I'm just like Ugh. so what I ended up doing was I went into the business policies um in the seller hub and you can ask it to clean up you can go to the shipping ones and it'll say clean it up and it takes out any duplicates and um anything you haven't used I forget the time period but when you have it do that, I think it was the button said clean it up or something similar to that. It took out duplicates and it took out anything that you hadn't used in X amount of time. I can't remember the time. Um, and then I kind of like went through and renamed some of them. Um, but it, it, it was just like... 
a Coco tie. I feel like I should know who Coco is. Um, I know I vow to be ready for the fourth quarter. Send sucked. I, I just butchered your name. That's okay. I'm so sorry. Hi, I just started following your channel. I'm starting to resell things on eBay. Your videos have been very helpful. I also had an injury at work, so just trying to do something on the side. Well, welcome in. Thank you so much for subscribing. We appreciate it. And I hope you find a lot of value here. Um, if you haven't, join our Facebook group. The link is in the box down below. It's the Hippo, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Join that group, especially if you're new. You will gain so much knowledge from some very nice people that um, are in the group. It's a very positive atmosphere in there, and everyone's super helpful. So I would recommend joining. Um, Coco the Monkey. I don't think I've ever seen Coco. I've had coconut. Coconuts? I might even have a coconuts. I don't know. I found several plush with sample tags on them, no brand name. Each tag had a different Asian person's name, possibly designer. I would have picked them up. I don't know. What do you think, Robert? I think that something like that, that was that neat and unique, I absolutely would have picked up. Just because it's different. Um, and you can clean them up. Yeah, Donatella, send us both a picture. Me and Robert will try to find you the monkey. All right, I got one last thing. Nothing super duper exciting, but it's a movie. Okay, I have no idea what y'all are talking about. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I feel like, is Coco the monkey that had the kitten? Is that is that who that is? Excuse me, my throat. Was Coco that monkey that had the kitten? The pet kitten? And then her kitten died? Alright, again, not, not exciting, but 99 cents and new attacks. And it's a, just like a Fruit of the Loom men's baseball t-shirt raglan. Is what you call it. But it is a 2XL as well. So it's new attacks, 2XL. Um, for 99 cents, absolutes, we picked it up. Absolutes. Um, I'm going to look that, that up because if it really is a monkey, a movie about a monkey, that sounds like something I would enjoy because I absolutely just love all animals. They're just all so precious. Animals are awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow with the clothing part, part, clothing portion. Clothing pieces. There we go. I'll be back tomorrow with the clothing pieces of our haul last weekend. We only went to the one Goodwill on Sunday. We did not go yard selling on Saturday. We had planned to. We had a neighborhood yard sale picked out. And then my brain had other ideas and gave me a migraine. And I was stuck in bed all day. So, um, yeah. It's just been a rough couple of weeks since I got back from eBay Open. Um... So I'm hoping that with this new bullet journal and all my excitement over writing all these to-do lists and everything, it'll get me re-motivated and back into the groove. Um, but, you know, we got to do, sometimes you have to work through the times you don't want to work. And we talked about this in my live show on Sunday, remember? Um, you know, if we all did what we wanted to do all the time, we would probably never work. And if we did, it would only be sourcing. That's all we, any of us would ever do. We would just go to the thrift stores all day and shop. So sometimes you have to work even when you don't want to. And that's why it's so, so important to have those routines, to have those schedules, to have those to-do lists, to have those planners and bullet journals. Because if you get up at the same time every day and do the same routine every day, even when you're not feeling it, even when you don't want to do it, if it's a routine, you do it. And if you have a to-do to-do list you can work through it even when you're not feeling it so it is important to do those things because you know even I get days where I'm just like not having it but you gotta work through it and eventually the motivation and the excitement will come back um but yeah work even when you don't want to because you know 
if we don't work, we don't make money. This isn't like a job where you clock in and you get paid by the hour. Uh, things that aren't listed aren't going to sell. You know, if you're a YouTuber and you're not making videos, you're not going to make your ad revenue. If you do affiliate links and you're not promoting them, you're not going to make that money. Um, anything that we do, we have to put the work in to see the results and make the money. And, you know, I'm not... I'm not a greedy person, but at the end of the day, we, all of us, have bills to pay, kids to raise, um, food to put on the table, and it is nice to have extra money to do fun stuff, and, you know, above and beyond all of that, you need to be making money and profits to reinvest into your business if you ever plan on growing. You can't just sit and spin your wheels and make the same amount of money forever if you want to grow, so... Um, it is so important that you guys just work with, even when you don't want to. And just remember, even I have days where I don't want to work. I have days where I don't follow my own advice that I give you guys. Um, it's human. It's being human. And you just got to forgive yourself sometimes for being human. And um, just keep working and don't be too hard on yourselves. And remember, just around the corner is Q4. So we will climb out of the summer slump and we will all start making more money as we get closer and closer to Q4 and into Q4 when people are just opening their wallets and begging us to take their money. So you guys, go be productive today. Go do something um, productive. Do something that you've been putting off or haven't done in a while. Um, just to kind of get yourselves moving and grooving. I'm going to go list a whole bunch um, on eBay because that's what I've been kind of slacking on and i got to get some extra photographs taken today. Um, but yeah, that's my challenge to you guys today. Just go do something that you've been avoiding, putting off, or haven't done in a while um, so that you can see the results from it and maybe boost your motivation. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be back with the clothing portion of our haul. And uh, like the video does help the channel and we do appreciate each and every thumbs up so please like that like the video hit that like the thumbs up before you leave if you haven't already and you'd like to please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo join our facebook group link is in the description box down below and you can find us on instagram facebook and twitter we're at flipping hippos across all social media until next time you guys go be productive Love you. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. Bye, guys.